Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I went to Bible study today, the second book of Samuel. Uh, we were talking about David's wars with all of the tribes in the in the in that area and how those wars are still continuing today. And the question came up that was pretty easily resolved. My question in fact was why is there so much turmoil in that area down through history? And um, one of the gentlemen in the class who had done some considerable research on that topic said that the understanding of, of, of researchers was that that, um, that area of, of Palestine and um, Syria and um, Jerusalem, there was a, like a trade route that went up through those mountains um, from from Egypt, I guess, to um, past to the Mesopotamian area, and you know, and that the trade route. So many people went through that trade route that it was very. Um, I guess you could pay tribute to go through there. I, I'll bet. And so it was a hotly disputed area because trade routes brought in a lot of money from people who needed like maybe lodging and supplies as they went through and um, so they were prime spots they were sort of the target spots and uh, so because so many people went through I'll bet there were a lot of wars over it and then somebody else said they had been there and that they found in that area an incredible energy of God there unlike any other place they said even if um, if you're not a Christian that um, and uh, that you could still feel that energy of God there. They said it was very strong, and someone else brought up that there were three religions that that were birthed in that area. So I'm thinking they may have thought um, Islam, um, Christianity, and Judaism, and from there I think to the east went uh, Buddhism. So that's four. Maybe the birthplace of all of those religions was right around there. And so I just have one thought for you about that. That the energy in the area indicates that it may be um, uh, a gateway, a portal for God consciousness to, from God, from divine source to earth, right? That makes sense. And um, so just... Um, I think a prayer for the continuing descent of grace through that area will resolve that it's bound to be, as we've discussed before, that where great grace is and great love are, uh, that great um, evil uh, will be attracted to that to come to resolution and transformation as the ascension process continues. So if we could if we could, um, so my thought is that the energies of war are concentrated in that area to allow purification of the energy of war from, from Gaia, from Earth herself. So a prayer for the, for the grace of God that it should continue its work in that area of purifying and uplifting earth and so that we may transcend all these dense energies. Blessings of peace to all, all humankind. Blessings of, of peace to Gaia.